If I did this with uh, the regular plastic piece, the raised plastic would distance you from the light source itself. With the LEDs flat against this, they are right there where they should be. That is nice. What I am losing is the chaotic design of the textured glass I used on the back of this to fill that space. There's really no way to put that back in here, I don't think. But this is looking really nice. It looks good from a little bit of a distance. And I just wanted to uh, get a few shots of this. I think that other plastic piece is history. This looks really great. I will have to back up that middle row with some kind of plastic, though, to indicate that there is a surface there and it's not a hollow pit. But other than that, that was definitely worth the effort. seems that I've pretty much got it down. The overall lights are a little brighter on camera than they were when I had the plastic in there and that is definitely out of the picture from here on out. I can try putting another couple layers of transparent black over the screen to darken that up a little but overall as far as the consistency of the colors themselves go and get some focus going on definitely like it. I'm going to have to patch up the top of that somehow. I don't think there's any other light leaks going on. No? Nice. Just that little bit right in there. So coming up is some fiber optics and some painting and we go from there. It seems that I've pretty much got it down. The overall lights are a little brighter on camera than they were when I had the plastic in there and that is definitely out of the picture from here on out. I can try putting another couple layers of transparent black over the screen to darken that up a little, but overall as far as the consistency of the colors themselves go, we can get some focus going on. Definitely like it. I'm going to have to patch up the top of that somehow. I don't think there's any other light leaks going on. No, oh, nice. Just that little bit right in there. So coming up is some fiber optics and some painting and we go from there. You can see each color goes to its own column. I can still add some of this frosted glass to the sheet itself, that won't add a lot and it should diffuse everything pretty well and I could do another transparent black as well. That will dull the colors down and maybe add a little more detail into the color panels themselves. So these here are fairly consistent with what they were, just different printed circuit boards. So this at least gives that similar flavor being a printed circuit board itself. That's it for this one. See ya. And here's a look at things in place. The red of the general alarm looks kinda pinkish on this LCD but it is a genuine red and over on the computer wall those pinkish red ones are really a nice dark orange and everything's a little brighter than it is in real life. You know, from back here, that captain tape on the white LEDs does not look too bad. At least not as bad as before. I might be able to mitigate that a little better. 
And then for comparison, here's the uh, back room and everything that can be lit up right now is lit up, I think. It's looking like it, yes. Turn into the back side here. Let's get this on. So this is definitely a clump, but it is very manageable. The fiber optic from the wall mount there goes right underneath, nice and easy. There'll be a few LEDs positioned right under there. The tail on the computer wall here pretty much runs right exactly to the new positive uh, terminal that I put in, and the negative one there is a little far back there. A little tough for the camera to focus on it but each one of these walls is going to have to be I think separate from each other as far as pulling stuff out for repairs now well, maybe not because the whole floor has to come out essentially yeah so I'm going to try and wire everything to the floor itself underneath Except for, of course, the computer wall here, but this will always remain detachable at the front right there and just over here. Because if this wall piece does get pulled on or some stress happens, you want it to fall apart real nice and easy and not put up a big fuss. So there's plenty of room here. I got some more fiber optics going on and some LEDs going into this area, maybe five, less than ten, certainly. And, uh,. Over with this backroom light, it's not so bright now I guess, but with the main light, work light on here, it was definitely really, really bright. It's strange how those oranges don't quite show up sometimes. But that's it, first look at all these parts, and uh, see you in the next video.